talked a lot about getting uh, a longer average on your punts. What did you have to do to kind of work on that this summer? I mean, just kind of really, you know, focus on a little dro lower drop, making sure I've been working some, you know, ball contact, get some spirals, and really drive it out there. I mean, I, I mean, I feel like I've gotten a lot better at it. The rain's, you know, not helping me too much right now. But I mean, it's something that, you know, it's a process. I mean, I'm pleased with where I'm at though. Just driving ball, most of the ball into the ceiling when you're inside like this. Yeah. Yeah, Dana gets mad at me, the equipment guy, kind of scarred up the footballs and everything. So he tries to get me to kick in the net, but my coaches, they want me to kick down the field and just do what I can. One of the open periods, we saw you shoot one between the rafters and the ceiling. Yeah. Did you try to do that now? Uh, is it, is it gay? I wish. No, I wish I could, I could, I could uh, pinpoint accuracy like that, you know, laser guided punts or something. That'd be pretty cool. But. Uh, no, I just looked out on that last one. I, I thought it was a good one to end on that day, too, so I just called it good. What was it like uh, seeing Jason Duffner out there and listening to him talk to you guys? Yeah, I mean, I have so much respect for him. I mean, I've been playing golf longer than I've been punting, and I suck at it. And it's <laughs> so hard. I mean, it's, uh, it's something that it really relates to my craft, particularly. Like, he talks about the physical aspect of the football. I mean, really. My, my position is a lot more like golf than it is any other position. Just as far as when I mean, you gotta have different clubs. I mean, you gotta you gotta have practice with each one. And I mean, it's a day to day thing. You know, you just gotta keep trying to refine your craft and everything. And I mean, if I can ever win the PGA Championship of punting, I mean, that'd be the best day of my life too. So hopefully, I can come back and you know share a little wisdom like you did today. Why do you suck at golf? It's hard, man. You got that little ball, long club. I mean, if you don't hit it like just right, I mean, it just yanks off into the woods. <laughs> Do you think you guys are going to change? You know, the last couple of years, you've punted in a way that they can't return it. I mean, that's basically been the thrust. Is that? you think it's going to change all this year? Are you going to be able to go for more distance than necessarily? Um, well, I mean, I might have a few more returns. Um, I'm hoping. I'm hoping we kind of like almost do, just because of the fact. I mean, I'll be be able to, you know, kick some longer ones. Hopefully that it'll be like, you know, still returns for like three or four yards. But I mean, it also, you know, increases the possibilities and pop like turnovers and stuff, which I mean, that's probably the most exciting thing that ever happens whenever I'm punting. I mean, trying to run back there, they drop it and then we end up getting it back. I mean, I can't, I don't know how much more I, I, I can do. I mean, that's not me, but I mean, it's still, I feel like I'm a part of that play. And I mean, it's really, it's really something I, I love being able to do things like that. Cody just posed with the Wanamaker trophy outside. Have you gotten a chance? I haven't. I didn't even know I could. You, you know, jealous? A little bit. <laughs> I'm going to have to do that. I, I hope he's still out there. Yeah. You're talking about the drop punts. So was that Florida game your sophomore year? Was that, like, the oh, yeah. possible outcome for you? Yeah, I mean, that, like, I mean, that's got to work. I can't even take the credit. Like, four, that's not me. Like, I mean, I just kick it. I can't make him drop it. So I was used to his. He's definitely working on that game, and I'm, I'm thankful because, uh, I mean, that was really great. That last one out of the end zone and set up a Cody's uh, game ceiling extra, or, uh, field goal there. That was definitely, you know, some, a game that I'm definitely going to remember for a long time. Do you feel like, I mean, the way that they were using you the last couple of years, obviously you were very effective when you were finals for the Ray Guy Award, but you kind of sacrificed your distance a little bit. I mean, you finished in the NCAA leaders, like, kind of middle of the pack almost. You feel like you kind of had to sacrifice a little bit for that, or even look at it that way? No, I mean, like, I, I, I honestly don't even feel like I did the best that I could have as far as, these, like, even, like, last year, the year before, necessarily. I mean, even whenever I do go for hang time, I feel like I should at least get 45 yards. So, I mean, I just, what would happen is I'd hit some good ones, 45, 50, and then I'd hit a bad one. And, I mean, that's on me. I mean, I, mean, I can't, you know, I, that's, that's, I can't blame them for, you know, me messing up. But, uh, I mean, on the other hand, it's like, like I said before, like, I mean, I just, like, I'm, I don't really try to worry about averages as much anymore. I had gotten caught up with that in the past. And uh, it's just something that, it really messes with your head, you know, trying to worry about all that stuff. I mean, you don't do numbers. I mean, all you do is, like, you can punt and you can only, you know, prepare yourself as best you can. And that's all you can really control.